This week for us, November 2020, we anticipate what might come this week. And leadership matters. And so we kind of all hold our breaths, our breath. Jesus, Jesus pursues a life-saving, life-giving relationship with all people. Is that going to change no matter what happens this week in regard to an election? No. Leadership matters. This decision that's before our country is important. But no matter what happens, we will still be anticipating the Messiah who will return and make everything that's broken right again. Jesus says, the time has now come. He says this to the Samaritan woman. This is incredibly good news. And I love how his disciples respond. Now's the time, huh, Jesus? And that, my friends, is true for us November 2020. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus, the Messiah, no matter what happens this week, is the one who has all power, all might, all ability to save lives and to give life. Jesus pursues a life-giving, life-saving relationship with all people. There is not one person he does not want to pursue in that relationship. There is not one person you disagree with, whether in your family or your classroom or your workplace, that Jesus didn't come to save, to seek Jesus pursues a life-saving, life-giving relationship with all people. And so what does that mean for us who are his people this week? It means that no matter who God has placed in your life, he calls you and he promises to equip you and go with you to be a part of his mission in pursuing a life-giving and a life-saving relationship with all people. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. That's his mission in the world. And what a privilege it is, to, if you know him, to be called by him to go on that same mission. It's time. Let's go. People need living water that's found only in Jesus. People are thirsty. They are in need of truth. They are in need of new life. They are in need of nurturing and replenishment and refreshment. And by the way, glory to God that he calls us among all people to know, love, and follow him and help others know, love, and follow him. Jesus pursues a life-giving, life-saving relationship with all people, and he's pursuing you, and he invites you to be a part of his mission in the world. So what's it look like this week? The people we disagree with, how is it that we will engage in life-saving, life-giving relationship with them just like Jesus models for us? What's it going to look like? Are you praying for your neighbors? Are you praying for your classmates, particularly the ones that you maybe disagree with? How about your coworkers? Are you asking God, Lord, how is it that you want to use me that your living water might be experienced, a relationship with you might be experienced, not just so we disagree and that we live at peace with each other because that's just temporary, but that people might know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only only son that whoever believes, whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. The son did not come into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. And we are the body of Christ. Therefore, he calls us to be a part of his mission, to pursue a life-saving and life-giving relationship with all people. Imagine a community. Imagine a neighborhood. Imagine a classroom. Imagine a workplace where people experience the life-giving water of Jesus through you. Not because you're good enough, because you know the one who supplies the water.